Hey, welcome back. We're out here in the shop today. Got to start a little project. Uh, Got to build a split rail fence. And in that split rail fence, there's going to be a gate. And it's not just a straight split rail fence. There's going to be a little angle. The gate's going to actually be on a 45 degree angle. Uh, so I've got my products, the cedar split rail fence in here. I kind of picked out some different pieces that'll be used. These will be for the rails of the gate. These will be the two, the end, two end pieces of the gate. And these will be the anchor posts. This is going to be one side of the post and this is going to be another anchor post on the other side. Uh, follow along and hope you enjoy the, uh, the gate build. I've never done one, one of these before so it's going to take some experimenting. I've never done you know work with uh, split rail fencing at all so it's going to definitely be experimental. It'll be fun though. The first step of this process is to to cut the rails to the appropriate length for a four foot wide overall gate. And to do this and to figure out what the overall length of the rails need to be, you need to measure the thickness of the post. And here we get about eight inches overall or four inches per post approximately. We'll take that length and or thickness and do some calculations against the length of the overall gate, uh, making an assumption for the overall tenon and mortise overlap within the posts and the rails and come up with an, uh, an appropriate length of the rails to get uh, the 48 inch gate and take that number and go over to the chop saw and give it a couple measures and cuts and we'll make the final cuts to make these rails the appropriate length for a four foot gate. All right, now we got to cut this end piece off, and I'm just kind of getting an estimate of the angle of the dangle here, whatever this mortise is. It looks like it's based on this bottom face, so I'm just going to flip it around, and it'll be close. Overall width of the mortise is an inch and a half, so I need to make sure I leave an inch and a half of meat still. So I'll just do this. Look okay?
Perfect. Fits like a glove. Cool. Alright, so I'll measure the reveal from the top of this rail or this mortise here. Six inches on this one and six inches on this one. So I will cut the bottom of this style six inches shorter below the, the reveal of this guy. Maybe I'll go six and a quarter just to make sure I get it all the way to the uh, Miter saw we go. Alright, so I got two styles cut and the uh, two rails cut. So now I got to think about where I'm working here. So this is going to be the hinge side and actually I think I like this side as the hinge side a little bit better. You can always run this through the table, I'll run this through the saw to clean that up a little bit. I like this as the hinge side. There's going to be another post right here. And then we'll put this as the latch side. All right, so we'll insert to the pieces, the rails, into the respective mortises and tenons, like so. Forty-five and three quarters on the extreme exterior. Forty-seven and three quarters. It does get a little bit wider on top. Interior thirty-nine and a quarter. Thirty-nine and a quarter. Okay, to make in an effort to get this thing square, I had to take each of the styles and run them to the table saw, clean up, and I took a, a hatchet and kind of just knocked it off and cleaned it up to make the styles approximately even thickness on both ends so then, then I can get them a little more square. The bottom was a little wider than the top was so that was... I want to make sure this door is the same width top and bottom. Forty-five and a half. 45 and a quarter-ish, better than it was. It was off by almost three quarters of an inch earlier. All right, so I'm gonna run some screws in the sides. Next thing I need to do is cut a diagonal piece. 
diagonal brace. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it so it'll fit and it'll attach up here and through a 45 down in this area somewhere. Test fit. That's actually not bad right away. I mean, probably could get away with just that. I mean, Just like that. Perfect. We'll run some screws, run some toenails off of this one into the main styles, run some through the here, and the skate ready to go. Bad, huh? Never built one before. But I think it should do the trick. These holes will probably swell up over time, I would hope. I'd imagine. And cover up to some of those screws. And plus, it's just a cedar split rail fence. Rustic. Now next, this post on this side will be fine. I can, I've got that one already. But on this one, because we're on an outside corner, we're going to go back from a 45 back to a linear line there. I'm going to have a regular end piece right here. And then I got to put, attach a 45 piece onto it so that it'll be parallel because the hinge will be on this side. It's going to open this way and uh, the latch will be on this side. And I need to have a piece of wood here, something for that latch to attach to. All right, so this is what I mean by what I've got going on here. So we got the gate coming in at a 45 degree angle. Here's an end post, and then we're gonna run a line that way. And so I need something to attach. This is easy, but I can attach that to the, the gate, the fence. But I need something for this base plate to attach to. And my only thought here is that I could just take this extra end piece and We'll rip a 45 degree chunk out of it. Okay, I just had the, uh, the old MS270 running. Uh, I ripped this in a, at a 45 degree angle all the way down. And so now I can basically, I guess the 45 degree angle. Now I can basically just attach this guy right to this post, run some screws in it, and then, but now I can, now I have a better chance of getting the uh, base plate for the hinge or for the gate latch to be on here.
perfect. Just like that. Just the way I planned it. For a for a cedar split rail fence is pretty dang nice. There's the uh, fence installed, or at least the gate. I guess still got to run the fence down that way a little bit further and then an angle a little bit, but here's the main gate and we got this going down that way as well. Uh, but this gate turned out really slick. I'm pretty impressed with myself actually. Just opens up and everything fits together nicely. I'm glad I chronicled this for this, for this channel. I had never done anything like this before. So it was a good experience just to kind of learn and play around with cedar, uh, but I think it worked out really slick. The, I think you'll be happy with it. So if you like this video, give it a like, uh, subscribe, and uh, maybe leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Uh, until uh, my next video comes out, we'll talk to you later. See ya. Bye.